to work in the pharmacy because they think it's just drugs it's just counting drugs and giving patients like that's very good that's very condescending because someone who spent all the years in school five years six years seven years trying to study a, a course and then anybody from nowhere can just enter put on a white coat and, and start working as a pharmacist Welcome back to my channel. It's Ijoma, and I am so excited to be here today with you again. If you are a first timer, welcome to my channel. My name is Ijoma. I am a pharmacist and a lifestyle content creator. I'm currently in Ibadan for my service here in Nigeria. Although I'm a foreign graduate, I moved to Nigeria about two years, three years almost three years ago and now i'm currently um serving in ibadan state yes so if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i just really want to appreciate you from the very very depth of my heart and i want to say thank you for coming along all these years for always checking for my new content new videos in my next video i'm going to try and maybe my vlogs i'm going to try and um be appreci and appreciate some of you guys that have been so consistent with your likes comments and all sorts of things i'm really really grateful i just want to say thank you i do not take it for granted guys i do not thank you thank you very very much i really appreciate so by the title of this video you already know what this video is about this video is about pharmacy pharmacists and foreign graduate pharmacists <laughs> everything together okay so um why did I start YouTube channel? Of course, I was in Ukraine when I started YouTube channel and um, I mean my first video, I made the videos already down in Ukraine but I didn't post until like some months down the line. So I started YouTube officially the day I was leaving Ukraine, July, in July 2019, yeah. So I officially started but then I wasn't active for a while. I, I, I ran and ran and I came back again. When I even got to Nigeria, at first I was like, lifestyle, let's do lifestyle video because I like travel, lifestyle because I love traveling. Although like the places I've been to before, I didn't I didn't film because I didn't know how to make a YouTube. I didn't know how to make a YouTube video. I didn't know how they edited or anything. So most of my videos, I think the one I can remember, I am portrait mood. I'm always thinking, should I? <laughs> Maybe one day I will try and go to my archives and try and um, edit those videos that I made even if they are not like up to par. Of course, we are learning every day. So it's always good to just share those ones. So I've always wanted to do this journey for a long, long time. I know this looks like, oh, why am I blabbering about I really just want to say I'm very grateful. When I got to Nigeria, I saw that there was a like, really, really... It is a huge gap for and there was nothing like anybody doing anything related to foreign graduates moving back to nigeria and also to talk talk more of um, um pharmacy so i thought to myself okay why not film this because i saw that many of us not just me everybody was checking like then oh what's the next step where, where do i go to everything so i just found that as an avenue to also also like expose what is it was like the steps and everything regarding pharmacy and anything that has to do with that for every foreign for, uh, foreign graduate pharmacist if you are not a foreign pharmacist graduate or if you're not a foreign graduate it's okay guys you're welcome here because i also talk about every other thing because i remember that i did um a video on how much a pharmacist intern earn and i saw that a lot of people were asking questions and they just wanted to know blah 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 so that's fine totally so in today's video can we move ahead now but before we move ahead guys i want you to like like and give this video i always say like and give this video a thumbs up when they mean the same thing okay i got a question i i take every of my subscribers very seriously so if you send me a question sometimes i just feel like if one person is asking other people might be asking but they didn't get a chance to ask directly or something like that so i'm going to read that question and i'm that that would be the basis of this video for you guys know it's, it's going to be surrounding license i'm guys my my ipad casing makes me really really embarrassed <laughs> i have not found a casing guys i've i've gone to shops they don't have you know this is ipad s2 so, so like i don't know if you can really find that now gift ideas <laughs> ipad casing guys anyway so this question goes like this hello dear hello dear 
okay my colleague asked me to confirm if one must complete nyc before writing the license exam it said some people told him that the nyc certificate is part of the requirements for registering for pep please how true is this at least for us who is foreign for us who is foreign trained pharmacist i told him you did your pep before nyc all right so for context i already filmed a video of how i um of of writing pep and how i passed pep and everything pep is the pre-registration examination for pharmacists okay so this is the, this is the exam that you write after um internship so this person is asking said said a colleague asked her to confirm if one must complete nyc before writing the license exam no you don't have you don't need to complete nyc it's optional you can do it before nyc you can choose to write your pep exam before nyc or after nyc but the one that is compulsory is that you must have undergone your internship like you must have undergone your internship and gotten your certificate of experience that's the only thing needed to apply for your pep exam so you don't need to complete nyc before writing the license exam there is this speculation on this i will tell you why this is confusing right so even for me myself when i finished writing my pep exam there was this thing about oh you cannot get the license you cannot get your license until even if you write the exam you cannot get your license until you're done with your nyc you can't you don't have access to your license until you you come along with your nyc certificate because one of the requirements for getting your license is the nyc certificate so i had this issue a lot of people even senior senior pharmacists were saying this too so i was wondering that uh, so a group a group of persons or pharmacists to say no you don't need to finish your NYC and other people will say you need to finish your NYC so I'm wondering like why is it is there a debate on this thing maybe there was once a time when you had to have finished your NYC before um getting your license or before what I now did is that I now went to since I'm in Ibadan I'm currently in Ibadan for service here I went to their office PCN office in Ibadan so when I went there I'll show you a clip now I just I just finished from the PCN and look at that at the back anyway i'm so happy i came because i was able to clarify a lot of things so one of the myths that a lot of pharmacists says especially maybe foreign graduates or if you're not even a foreign graduate maybe you must have heard this that you have to finish your service year before you apply for your full registration as a pharmacist guys that is very very false you don't have to wait on service the most important thing for you to do is finish complete your internship write your pep and apply for registration once you have applied for your full registration and you have that cover letter that you can use for nyc during so the process there are two things you don't need to finish your nyc before writing your exams you just have to have finished undergone internship secondly you don't need to have finished nyc before getting your license you can get your license as long as you have written the exam and passed the exam you can use that license to work in anywhere like you can use it to work but if you want to register your license with a pharmacy like a community pharmacy let's say okay um you you have someone that wants a a, a superintendent pharmacist so the person has to use their license to for so you have to use your license for the pharmacy for instance but you know that that's part of the requirement i i think you can work in some places with your license without having to finish your nyc but let's say you want to work as a superintendent pharmacist part of the requirement they need is your nyc certificate so i hope that is clear i know that's every i don't know i just hope that's clear by god's grace i i believe that you were able to understand this video i made so i just wanted to like add all the pharmacy um, questions that i've got in the video i made someone asked that does the because I, I i mentioned like how much pharmacists get pharmacists intern make someone asked in the comment section that does the pay get better <laughs> guys I, I i mean it's the pay is baffling it's really baffling to be very candid with you guys i'm using uh, am i using accent i'm sorry like it, it, it has to come out the accent has to come out you understand because this is what i'm trying to say <laughs> anyway <laughs> guys to be very honest i don't think the pay is i don't think the pay gets better i think it doesn't make sense because how with a whole pharmacy that i've gone through internship you've gone through um nyc your service here and you still come out and be any 500 naira per hour 
please explain this it doesn't make sense to me because for me like i keep thinking what's the pcm body doing about this i feel like there should be an amount for those people who have finished their nyc like before nyc there should be an amount you can get maybe 500 per hour then after nyc at least up it up a bit and add something because it's not encouraging like how do you pay a pharmacist 500 per hour the person works eight hours in a week let me do the math guys in most pharmacy you work every day and maybe if you're lucky you have alternate weekends right so for instance now let's do the math right you you work eight hours a day where's my calculator because this seems annoying me uh, so no wonder why would people not want to find the wheel of jack why would people no want to jack why why are you not angry that people are jack do you understand what i'm saying you're not making okay a pharmacist and the, the pharmacist um, um um occupation has been so rub somehow rubbish that anybody can just work in a pharmacy see it's really so annoying because it makes you think that all the years that i've studied in school there's someone who just brings someone even in some private hospitals i'm going to call out private hospitals and some not even private hospitals other organizations they authorize people that are not pharmacists to work in the pharmacy because they think it's just drugs it's just counting drugs and giving patients like that's very rude that's very condescending because someone who spent all the years in school five years six years seven years trying to study a, a course and then anybody from nowhere can just enter put on a white coat and, and start working as a pharmacist <sighs> guys i don't know why i'm writing here so 500 per hour times 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 work times eight eight hours in a day that means you're earning four thousand naira four thousand naira divided by say five hundred dollars you're earning eight dollars per day eight dollars per day eight dollars as a pharmacist a full-time pharmacist you're done with all the six days of school plus two years post after that for the internship and the nyc that's freaking eight years and let's say you were delayed you didn't get internship in time that's roughly almost nine ten years you come out and you're earning eight dollars per day wow. guys you know what and then you don't even get offs most times in most of these places you get alternate weekends you can even get maybe just one saturday one saturday in every two weeks or one saturday in a month or one saturday alternate maybe at the end of the day you get black for four days off in a month very ridiculous ridiculous settings and then you get eight dollars eight dollars times let's say remove the four days from 30 days that's how many that's how much, that's 26 days let me put 25 just to make things better 25 eight dollars times 25 you're in 200 dollars okay let me put it back to naira you're in the 100 k maybe the people that do, do try and be okay plus or plus um plus um commission Maybe they, they, they give you a target to sell like vitamins and stuff, like some community pharmacy do it. So maybe you earn like about 120, 130, 140. The persons that are good, 150. Maybe you really get a good place, 150. For instance, and you have to pay for rent, pay for your, uh, for your bills, buy foodstuffs, and do other things with your life. Seriously, um... I don't know i i didn't think that this video will get to this <laughs> i didn't think i would start writing this video that was not even the plan but like does the pay get better i don't know i think you should judge for yourself the only people that are really enjoying are people that work with the ngos that's why a lot of people try to get into ngo if you get if you can get into the ngo that's best because for some people that i know in ngo they're starting at least starts for ngo starts for ngo like maybe it's it's so bad that maybe this NGO is a startup. Maybe it's so bad, so bad. The salary is so bad. At least we're talking five hundred dollars upward. If you can work your way into like NGO, that's very good. If if because it's very competitive. To be very honest, it's very competitive. So if you can find your way, maybe start as volunteering and stuff, or you can do pharmacy, work in a place that is not so safe, so that you can have other like sources of income. You can't dwell on pharmacy. Pharmacy cannot in Nigeria. It's not. It's a means to an end. It's a means to an end because as much as you like your job, as much as you want to reach out to people, if you are not being, if you're not well kept, if you're not in the right mental state, you can't take care of other people. That's the truth. If you keep thinking, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to encourage this person, but when I get to, I don't know what to eat. <laughs> it's not, it's not funny. 
and a lot of people are in this shoe and it's really sad and i hope that the pcm body aside making us to write exams like after an internship what's the essence of exams medical students the the doctors after their housemanship they don't write exams again because all the all the what's the use of the housemanship if, if not for the training you write exams especially for foreign graduate pharmacists you write right we write exams before we pay a huge sum of money it goes into that then after that after the internship you write exam before internship you get the internship you write exams after internship for some places because in my own place I, I wrote an exam then after that you write speed prep exam then after that you have to get license and wait for NYC before you and even the pay doesn't even get better you go through all the stress without the pay being better guys i don't really know <sighs> i don't think that this this was going to be a rant video but it is what it is i already tell from my face i don't even need to say anything than that i just hope things really get better in nigeria honestly speaking and i hope that the pcn body do better because i feel like they are our voice they're the governing bodies and the one that they have a, a better platform to talk about these things to do the right things guys anyway thank you for coming to my channel thank you for watching this video make sure to like subscribe and share this video here okay? let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in future i'll see you in another video do take care of yourself bye bye